Hey guys, John Craig here with Performance Plus Tennis. Welcome to today's video. A little bit different video today. I've got Leila Fernandez on the left and I've got an aspiring junior in our program, the Newport Beach Tennis Club, on the right. And she's 11 years old and doing a great job and working closely with one of our coaches. I also work with her and we recently filmed her and I thought, gosh, she kind of serves like Layla. So let's take a look. So it's kind of interesting to watch the two of them here. So we've got Layla on the left. I love the way she's setting up to start her serve with her, with her heel in the air here in the back. I just always like this idea because it gets the player to have a nice rocking rhythmic motion to get started. So she, here she goes, she puts the foot down, comes to the back foot, and she keeps that heel down the entire time that the ball's in her hand until the ball leaves her hand. And then once it leaves her hand, she goes up into the pinpoint and she has a pinpoint right into her trophy position. And what a great trophy position she has. I love the angle of the legs here. I love the stretch of the right arm. And of course the racket's in a beautiful uh, position as well to make its move onto the swing. And then we've got uh, our 11 year old aspiring player over here. Let's take a look at her. Now she is a platform server, not a pinpoint. So a little bit different entrance into the serve. But nonetheless, watch how she gets into a beautiful trophy position as well. Not that different, really. I would like to see a little bit of a stronger stretch with the right arm. That will help. Uh, but she does have a nice leg flex here. Uh, she's going to get stronger. We know that for sure. She's going to get a little stronger. Uh, I can see a little bit here where maybe her elbow is a little higher than we'd like, but it's very subtle. So that's not that big of a deal. Overall, I would say I'm very, very pleased with her trophy position. I think it's very comparable to Layla's in many, many ways. So let's see what happens next as we move into the serve here. And Layla pulls that right hand away and drives up with the legs. Look at her explode up and look at the racket get into a beautiful racket drop. That is just outstanding. And if we compare that over here to our player, she's going to be pushing with her legs, pulling away with the right hand as well. I would like to see this right hand palm turn away and face the target so she can have more shoulder power pulling away. But nonetheless, she gets into a beautiful racket drop as well. Look at that nice depth. Wow, look how low that racket gets in that position. So that's really a tremendously flexible shoulder and a very fluid swing that our player is developing here. And then she's coming up on edge beautifully. This looks really, really good. But what happens here, as you can see the angle of the racket here, it looks like it really wants to track inward, which would really set up to have a lot more power. And we'll see over here with Layla, she is tracking right at the ball. So she's coming up and she's tracking right at the ball here, right there. And she is going to make her contact inside the shoulder. So we're going to get to the contact and we can draw a line there and you can see she's inside and you're going to see how that's going to affect her long axis pronation. We get over here to our player, we're going to see that she gets outside the shoulder. Okay, outside, right there. Hard to hold it there, but I'm going to get it. There we go. And we're going to clear these marks here for a second. And now we can see that our player, our junior, is outside the shoulder. And we're going to see how that implicates her long axis pronation. So when she is outside the shoulder, which she is, she's going to lack that long axis pronation. You can see this missing there. So she's not going to get as much racket head speed and power through the shoulder that she could get. And if we compare that over here to our professional player, you'll see that she's tacking on edge and then look at the racket rotate through. And look at that pronation already right there. So as our player gets a little bit stronger, she's going to definitely get a little bit more uh, shoulder rotation of that ball, but a lot of it has to do with where her placement is. She tends to be a little off to the left. I realize she's slicing a little bit, but for those of you who are working on your slice serves, you can still hit a great slice serve from inside the shoulder and really rotate that shoulder, long axis rotation into contact, okay? Other things we can take a look at here, look how high Layla is in the air, and that really came from this beautiful loaded position she had. She really is, obviously she's stronger 
than our junior player. But as our junior player gets stronger, she's going to be able to make an even more explosive move up into contact, and she's going to get a little bit higher up. So you can see our player is a little bit falling off to the right, and she's a little bit hitting off to the left. And if we compare that to Layla, you can see she's springing right up, and she's in a beautiful contact position. That is absolutely an ideal alignment for a professional player. So our junior has some things to work on. She's only 11 years old. She is doing fantastic. There's many things that she's doing super well on her serve. Uh, Layla is a perfect model for her to be following, and we can do a follow-up here probably in the near future, and I think we'll see a tremendous improvement in our, our, our young player's serve that's really going to help her develop that serve into a professional quality weapon. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Leave your comments down below. Give us a like. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so. And I will certainly respond to any comments you leave down below. We've got lots more coming here at Performance Plus Tennis. Stay tuned, and we'll see you soon.